Hey there, this is Salerno, and today I am in the studio with a Beat Seeker. And what I've been playing around with is using the Beat Seeker's ability to assign each of these sliders to their own note value. Uh, so what I've done here is on the masking tape, which you can't read, uh, starting on this first note here, I've got a lower C note, which is also MIDI note value 36, working my way up a scale to a F, which is MIDI note 53. And then what I've been doing with this is sending it actually to four different tracks in Logic, each with a different instrument set up. So we go ahead and we brought in one track that I have a drum kit set up on. I have another track with a pad set up. I've got a staccato synth. And a bass. And what you've probably noticed is that each of these tracks is playing the same exact MIDI notes. So what I did is to start this up, I went ahead and assigned the notes that I wanted to have, jotted down what they were so I could remember what they were in case I lost them, loaded up the respective instruments into the four different logic channel strips, punched up the four patterns I was looking to work with, and now we're going to go ahead and just make a little song out of all of this. So let's go ahead and get started. Bring the volume back down. And I've got just the drums triggered right now, so let's go. Let's go ahead and sit back and listen for a few minutes and see what happens.
And there you have it, just a fun little ditty showing how you can use the Beat Seeker to, se to send information, control four different tracks at one time. As long as you've got the controller that allows you to switch between, uh, you should be set and can have a little bit of fun. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.